So typically on Google+, people have been sharing and resharing the same articles over and over and over again. You don't want to be the person who is always resharing something that's been shared already to the same circle of people. What you want to do is be the one who has unique content. So you're going to have to go outside of Google to find that. Now, this is one of my favorite sites, socialmention.com, and I've done a search for cloud data security. Now, I've limited this search to blogs because I don't want to pick stuff up on Twitter and have to dig down in this video. Normally, I would select all and then dig through it to find something that was interesting to me. You can look through some of the things like the top keywords, see if there's something in there that sparks your interest. You can look to see who the top users are. AR Guess is a good one. Um, look to see if they've had a lot of posts. Now, AR Guest has a post here, and I'm going to go ahead and click on it. The need for cloud data management standards. And now this is going to take me to her blog. This is Angela Guess. And I'm going to scan this article and see if there's anything here that I'd like to share with my networks. You actually have to read these, and when you share them, don't just share the title. Share something that's interesting on your Google Plus profile. So this particular post is all about uh, being a provider who provides services and what kind of standards are you going to provide to your, your clients. So I want to share this on Google Plus. I'm going to go to my Google Plus account. I'm going to click on my Home tab and then I'm going to share it right here in the stream. So let me go back. I've got multiple tabs open. Go back to the post. Here it is. I'm going to copy the URL in the top. A lot of sites do not have the ability yet to share on Google+. You'll notice I can share on LinkedIn, but there's not a Google Plus share yet. There are some plugins that you can get for your browser to do this, but I'm not really going to go into that right now. So I'm going to go back to Google+, and I'm going to click on the link icon. You see we can share a photo, a video, a link, and we can also share our location. I don't like to share the location unless I'm not at home um, because it really isn't pertinent and it's nobody's business. So I'm going to click link and I can paste the link right here and then I'm going to click add. Now what this is going to do is it's going to go out, it's going to parse the article and it's going to come back with a little bit of a description. These arrows here are going to give me photo options that it pulls from the website. And I can just quickly click through these and see if I can find something that I want to go with the article. If they're running ads, it's going to show their ads too, so you may, may want to avoid that. If you don't want an image, click the X. If you don't like their description, you can click Remove Description. Now I'm going to go back to the actual post itself, and I'm going to copy something from the post. Now I could just uh, analyze this myself, but I'm just going to copy it for right now because this is a demonstration. And I'm going to go back to Google Plus and I'm going to add that here. And then I'm going to add a comment at the beginning saying, what do you think? Asking for people to chip in. Now I can decide if I'm going to share it to public. Am I going to share it to my circles? If I have a circle that's specific for cloud computing, I might share it there. Now in this case, I don't. I don't want to share it to all of my circles, so I'm just going to share it publicly. Now it's important to note that if you share all of your posts only to your circles, they're not going to have much show up on your public profile because those posts will not show up as public. So if they're not in one of your circles, they're not going to see those posts. So if it's something that I want to be search engine optimized for, then I share it as public. Now all I do is click share. Now if I go to my profile, I do that by clicking on my name, and I look under posts, there's my post. Now let's say that I wanted to share this post with a particular circle or share with my friends. 
I just click share and it's going to make my circles available and I'll just click add more people until I get the circles that I want. If I wanted to bookmark this circle, I've created a circle just for bookmarks. So I'll click add more people. I'll type in bookmarks. And the circle that I've already set up, if I spell it right, for bookmarks will show up. So I'm just going to delete this and spell it bookmarks right. And you see that it brings it up right away. And I can just share it. And I've already shared it publicly, so I'm going to close that. Now I'm just bookmarking this article for my own reference. There's nobody in that bookmarking circle but me. And that's really all there is to sharing on Google+. Now, if this was somebody else's post, I could click reply to the author and it would reply directly to that person. Now, I'm going to go up to my home page and I'm going to look at, maybe I'll look at the Googler's stream and see if there's something interesting that I want to um, post in here. And I can just browse this information really quickly, look for something that I want to share with other people. And apparently everybody's really noisy right now because it's Friday. So I'm not finding a lot. So I'm just going to share um, this post with Natalie Villalobos, which is all about her business card with a Google Plus on it. Natalie works for Google, so of course she's thinking this is pretty cool. I'm going to click Reply to Author. You notice that it adds her name already, and I can just say, really cool card, I want one too. No big deal, this is very casual, it doesn't have to be life or death, and I can just post the comment. Now the thing is, is that Natalie is going to see a message that I replied to her, and it's going to show up in her notifications up here at the top where this little box is. And what's going on in this little box is if Mark Ivey plus one to my post, so he clicked the little plus one sign, and he also shared it with his network. Now I can go and look and see that post that he shared. And I can see if other people have shared it too. BJ Wyshynski shared it. I can plus one it. I wouldn't do that necessarily for my own post. Um, but this gives me an idea of the interaction. You can assume that if I reshare another one of Mark's posts, that he's going to know that I shared it. And he's going to go and look and see what my about page is, what posts I have. So that's a really quick tutorial on adding posts in Google+.